Let us have a quick look into the management aspects of a scorpion sting. The scorpions, they are nocturnal feeders and most of them are non-poisonous. So except for pain at the site of the sting, so many of them are non-poisonous. So identifying whether it's a poisonous or a non-poisonous is most important aspect of management along with that identification of the species is also important to determine the course of treatment because there are some scorpions which are neurotoxic there are some which are uh, the brunt of attack falls on the cardiovascular system okay so based on that you have to treat it so we are not going into the details of all the species we are limiting ourselves to the common species of scorpion which are seen in india the names are mentioned here one is lurus uh, quin questratus and other is mesobatus tamulus and third one is titus serulatus so try to remember these three species which are common in india and they cause hypertensive crisis so that's the reason most of the times in our pg entrance examinations they'll ask a question drug of choice for the scorpion sting actually it's not a proper question to be asked but in india it is mainly hypertensive crisis and it responds very well to prazosim so this is single line you need to take home from the this discussion so hypertensive crisis Prazosin. If there is a neuro uh, neurotoxic scorpion, we have to give uh, diazepam to control seizures. Okay, we have to put patient under ventilator support if there is any respiratory paralysis and all. But we are not going into that details. We are limiting ourselves to hypertensive crisis and why there is hypertensive crisis with these species because when there is a scorpion sting. There is a massive release of endogenous catecholamines, okay, and they cause hypertension and pulmonary edema. And these two, they respond very well to the following drugs: that is, prazosin, nifedipine, nitroprusside, and hydralazine. These are all the drug of choice for management. And there are also arrhythmias and myocardial damage, which is uh, possible with the scorpion sting. So this is specific to India. In general, along with these, we also have a principle of management. That is, we are giving aggressive supportive care to the patient, and we also need to use antivenom. Antivenom are available actually for the neurotoxic ones. Okay, and uh, you have to keep the patient calm. You have to apply the pressure dressings and cold packs to the sting site so that you decrease the absorption of venom from the sting site. Antihistaminics and analgesics they help in relieving edema and pain. So this is what you need to know about a scorpion sting and its management.